So obviously you had a, a great win last time out, but it was eight months ago, right? It took a while to get booked again. Uh, was that by design, or, or what's been going on in the last eight months? No, I said it looked like, uh, on the outside looking at it, it looks like I took a paternity leave, you know? But uh, no, I, I was ready to go. Uh, we had said maybe the end of November, December would have been perfect. That would have given me like three weeks with a little one just to get a new schedule and then good to go. But uh, I think, I'm assuming just because there's so many events, so many new guys that are getting signed, and uh, I might imagine, you know, getting everybody fights is really tough. So we, I've just been training since then, staying super busy, and, you know, I think I'd like to be more active, you know, but I think these long breaks between fights are good because I think if you watch the Hubbard fight, you can almost throw it away. If you watch the Wyman fight, you can throw it away if you're my opponent. So I think uh, I get to make these leaps and bounds, you know, and uh, – well, I'd like to be more active. I think I get to show a whole new, you know, uh, version of myself on Saturday night nice. or Saturday morning. What'd you think? Yeah, Saturday morning. It's gonna be an early one. What'd you think about the matchup itself, right? I mean, a veteran like Jim Miller, guy's been around the game forever. What did you think when they came to you with that name? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. You know, uh, like any, like I said, anytime I get a fight, I'm gonna be like, oh man, that's a tough guy because we're in the lightweight division in the UFC. It's gonna be uh, a tough fight. So, you know, we had to start getting to work planning for that. But on the other side of things, as far as like admiration and stuff, uh, you know, I'm from Jersey, so. Uh, you know, I'm a Jim Miller fan. I grew up a Jim Miller fan. So uh, to be on this, you know, platform, you know, to fight somebody that I look up to so much, I think uh, that really speaks to, you know, how far I've been able to come. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool moment to be go out, going out there. And, you know, it just shows that, I, you know, I'm on the level of the guys I used to look up to. So uh, pretty big night for me. Yeah, no doubt. I wonder if there's lessons maybe take out of the Matt Wyman fight. You know what I mean? Another guy that was a veteran. I mean, I know Jim's done it more than anybody. But um, are there lessons of, like, mentality that you can take out of that to go, okay, I know I'm the newer guy, but – I know that I can go with these guys. Yeah, I think so. You know, I, I, the way I see it is if I can go out there in my first UFC fight in front of the big crowd for the first time, bright lights, all that hoopla, uh, against the guy with so many fights like Wyman, then, you know, Miller is obviously a big step up from him, but I would assume a fight with Jim Miller in the apex should be very similar. You know, as far as, like, that level of, you know, whatever people are expecting, adrenaline, nerves, et cetera. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I've been on the mat in jiu-jitsu with some of the best guys in the world uh, when I was competing in that department, and... Same thing, you know. I think when you go against these guys that have the big name, it's uh, it's maybe extra jitters leading up once you're on the mat or in the cage or anything like that. Like fight or flight's gonna kick in, we're gonna fight. So uh, I really don't have any extra jitters this time around. It's just the same usual fight week, ready to go, like every single uh, other person that's here, you know, ready to rock. And uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity to have that name, the chase. Though it's pretty good. Yeah. When you started getting ready for this fight, was there anything you noticed about him that maybe you hadn't before? I mean, obviously, we've all seen the guy fight 30 times or whatever, you know? So, I mean, was there anything that was like, oh, I never noticed that before? Or did you pretty much know what you were getting ready for? Yeah, I knew what I was getting ready for, you know? So, uh, the nice thing about it is our head coach, Jeff Jimmo, you know, we're one camp removed from him getting Scott Holtzman ready to fight Jim. So, uh, obviously, Scott and I are very different fighters. So, the templates and game plans are different, but the familiarity with Miller is there. So, that was nice. I kind of let my coaches take care of it and follow the blueprint. And then a couple weeks ago, just watched some of the more recent fights just to see any little things that I could see for myself. And that was it. I try to spend 90% of the time worrying about me. You know, I think you hear a lot of people say that, but I'm one of them. Yeah. Last thing for me, give me an idea what the plan is with a, uh, with a win here. Because like I said, be a recognizable name. And as you said, I'm sure you want to stay busier than you were. So what's, uh, what's the plan moving forward? Yeah, I'm not too worried about anything other than the plan for Saturday morning. You know, that, that's the big deal for me is I got to go out there and grind and get it done in 15 minutes and uh, get my hand raised at the end. After that, uh, the plan is go home to the baby and the wife and, you know, get back in the gym on Monday. So we'll see what happens. I really can't control any of that. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I know that if I beat Jim Miller Saturday morning like I plan to, you know, good things are going to happen for me and my family. What's up, man? How's it going? I don't know if you're the sort of guy who will look through people's records and, and look in the history of MMA, but when you do and you see this same names cropping up over and over again, can you imagine what it will be like to have the name Jim Miller on your record? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's cool. You know, I, like somebody was saying, what does that fight mean? Uh, in interviews and stuff, they were saying, you know, what does it do for you? What does it mean to other people? And I was like, I don't really care. It means a lot to me. You know, it means I've gotten to a place where two years ago I was in the regional scene hoping for a crack at any kind of UFC fight, you know, a contender series, anything, Ultimate Fighter, and now I'm here, you know, in a pretty big slot in the card, fighting a pretty big name. So uh, it means a lot to me, you know, it's pretty cool. I don't get the sense this is going to happen to you, but do you have any sort of maybe mild concerns that you're going to be in the cage, look across and see him and be like, oh, shit, it's Jim Miller? <laughs> no, I've been competing since I'm six years old, you know, and uh, I got too much I got to fight for. I got to show up on Saturday morning. So uh, when you know that, you just kind of check in, go to work, and, you know, I really don't think uh, you give yourself that much time to think about it. I, I'm like I said, if there was a time in my life where I was going to be super nervous and mess up in a fight, it would have been the contender series. Like, the position in life that I was in going into that fight was uh, 
okay, if I go home, I'm going home to nothing. Like, I've got to really, re, you know, revamp my whole life and probably change career paths. So uh, that was, like, 15 weeks leading up to that, or however long I knew. It was a long time. It was, like, I was, like, on the verge of just, like, I was a mess the entire camp. So if that's not going to rattle me, I don't think, you know, uh, a fight in the UFC against, a, you know, an established vet is going to do much more than that. So I'm pretty excited for it, actually. Best of luck. Thank you. Welcome back, Joe. You guys are both East Coast guys. You're successful in the Apex. Does that give you any kind of advantage that you're uh, coming back home, if you will, to the UFC Apex? I don't think so. You know, uh, I know he's fought in the Apex. I'm not sure if that's one of the ones he won or lost. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't look too far into that. I like it. You know, I, I really do fight for the competition side of it. Having fans in the stadium is awesome. Uh, having fans and viewers is awesome. But, like I said, I've been saying it in jiu-jitsu. is like if you just went into a room with just your coach and him and his coach and nobody got to know who, who wins, I'd still do it. You know, I need to know. So I uh, don't really care as far as that, so I kind of like the Apex fight. So for me, I enjoy it more or just as much, but uh, I don't know that it's an advantage for either of us. And speaking of advantage, is the timing any beneficial to you, being away enough to recoup, recharge your battery, be with the little one? Yeah, you know, I, I think so. I think uh, that was huge. You know, I, I, I'm a new father, so that was really fun. I, I didn't miss a day of training. I missed one day of training. So uh, when we were actually on lockdown in the hospital, and then I got right back to it the next day. So nothing really changed, but it was nice to, you know, get in that routine, get established, and spend some time with my daughter without thinking, you know, training every day, the same schedule, but not thinking about some guy that wants to beat me up in six weeks. So that was kind of nice. And then the fight came at the perfect time. But uh, more so than that, I think it's just more time to grow between fights. You know, I'm, I'm young in my career. I'm young. I'm just young, you know. So, uh, gosh, in, the, in these time between fights, I feel like I come back almost a different person, like even in life, you know. So I try, like I say, training camp is my vessel to grow, you know, physically for fighting, uh, mentally as, as just a human being, like a father and a husband, and then spiritually, you know, I, I'm a Christian, and, uh, you know, my faith is very important to me. So if I can make those leaps going into every single camp, you know, I have eight months to work on myself as a person and a fighter, I'm going to be a better product Saturday night, you know, and the whole, the whole mission is just to show it. But I know that me walking in Saturday is uh, a lot better than me walking in against Hubbard just in every area of life. So I like those layoffs for that reason, but uh, obviously I love to compete, so every three or four months would be nice. Perfect. Thank you, sir, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.